We begin tonight with a tough topic, domestic violence. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Rolly Hoyt. One in three women in Arkansas have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. For men, one in four experience the same. From Thanksgiving gatherings to holiday shopping in a tough economy, during the holidays, families deal with a lot of stress. Tonight, THV 11's Frederick Price talks with one organization who's helping victims through what can often be a rocky time of the year. This is the season for families to gather with one another. The reason for the season is good tidings and cheer. But Derek Jones with the Union Rescue Mission tells me things aren't always loving and peaceful for some. Historically, he says the organization sees an uptick in victims of domestic violence around this time. It tends to begin right around Thanksgiving and then through the first of the year. He tells THV 11 during Thanksgiving, New Year's, even the Super Bowl. It's a high stress time of year which can trigger a domestic violent situation. We do believe that that's because of the addiction issues, the misuse of drugs and alcohol, the substance abuse disorder. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence says 37% of women in Arkansas experience physical violence, 35% for men. Last year, 45 women, men and children in the natural state were killed in a domestic violence homicide. If a woman's fleeing a domestic violence situation, we provide 72 hours of emergency shelter for them. Beyond that, he tells me the organization provides a nine month program at no cost where victims can receive treatment to help move forward. We're treating not just the domestic violence, but we're looking at the childhood sexual abuse. We're looking at the trauma. We're looking at the anger issues. And he says the holiday uptick is creating issues. Inside their shelters, about 45 women and children. Right now, we are full. We have a waiting list. But despite that, he says they are rearranging and clearing out space so they can continue to serve those who are looking for a better situation. So we're just trying to stand in the gap and love on people and meet their needs right where they're at. In Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Frederick, thank you. Right now, the organization is building four houses in Jacksonville, creating more space for those trying to get away from an abusive situation. They're also looking for donors. We'll post how you can help out and a full list of resources on our website, THV11.com.